Good to see you. And how has uh, how things been since you uh, since you oh, finished the NCAAs? Oh, uh, it's been good. You know, I waited uh, a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of days before I came up here because I was uh, looking for a spot up here, and I found one over here at Harwich. So I got lucky and I got a spot up here. So I'm, uh, everything's been going good. Uh, the weather's been iffy, you know. So we've missed a couple games here and there. But uh, other than that, it's going really good for me up here. I thought I saw you. You were in a different league, and uh, you weren't originally on yeah. here. What's the process of getting in? <clears throat> excuse me, getting in a team on up here? Well, I mean, sometimes you just got to wait for the guys because most of the teams that go to the College World Series have guys on this team. So, and then that, and uh, I mean, a lot of players go to Team USA and they skip, and they leave spots open up here and. Uh, well, you know, two guys went to Team USA, and that left a spot open up here for me. So I just, uh, they gave me a call. The head coach, Steve England, gave me a call, and I got a chance to come up here and play. Who was on, who else is in the College World Series who's up here that with on this team? Oh, there's a couple guys, uh, you know, Keith Werman from Virginia, uh, a couple guys that was in the Super Regional, Stanford, those guys. Uh, other than that, though, I mean, we had a couple more guys. There's a couple more guys on other teams that were up here, you know, uh, like Zanino from Florida is on YD, and, uh, who else is out there? Uh, there's just a couple other guys on a couple of different teams. How's it been for you so far? How, how's, how's the level of competition been? Oh, level, of competition's, it? <laughs> level of competition is awesome. Uh, you know, up here it's, it's probably it's the best league in the country in summer if you're for college baseball. You're not seeing guys under 90 mile an hour throwing, and the guys that are hitting are all, you know, big league guys, you know, big league swings, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> Anything you've been trying to work on specifically? Oh, yeah, I've been trying to work on, you know, staying through the ball, hitting the opposite field, and just, you know, be more of a pure hitter instead of, you know, being a streaky guy and just work on my hitting a little bit more. What's it like when you when you see some of the other rosters, and especially Wareham, that has like five or six guys uh, yellow jackets? Oh, yeah, it's exciting because, you know, that, that knows, you know, the next season is going to be even more exciting than it was the next season. You know, we got a... Uh, well, I think we got four guys in Wareham. We had two in Falmouth, one here in Chatham, one in Brewster. So, I mean, you know, when you got that many guys up here, I mean, it pretty much shows you got a good team for next year. So, I mean, I'm really excited about next year with Dan and, uh, you know, Kyle Wren coming back as a leadoff guy and Mott Hyde and all them guys. I and mean, it's going to be a fun year. Is it kind of weird that there are like six of them on one team and the rest of them are just pretty much spread out one here, one there? And Oh, yeah, that was kind of weird because I played in Wareham last summer and there was only two of us there. And then I was going to go, I was going to try to get back on the team there. And they had four guys already, so I was like, oh, wow, well, eh, that's not going to work out. So I just tried to find a spot somewhere else. Yeah, but I mean, you get to experience the whole Cape, though. Some guys get this part, some guys get that part. And, you know, Wareham's not really on the Cape, they'll tell you that up here. So we're getting more of it than they are. So. What's it like? Are you, have you faced um, any pitchers yet? On Like, you might face Buck. I'm not sure. If you, in the, and sometime in the next three games and, yeah. like, the next week you're going to see him. What's it like when you face a teammate? Well, it's always fun. You go up there and you get a big smile because you're hoping he's going to throw you a fastball down the middle, and then he throws a slider, and you just you give him a big smile. And, uh, like, the other day, Luke Barr did that to me. Yeah, you know, was uh, he was he started the game against us from Brewster, and uh, he threw that uh, first pitch fastball down the middle, and I was sitting slider, and I just smiled at him like, and he smiled back at me, and he said, "Though that was your one," and then everything else was nowhere near the plate, and I was swinging at it, and he had me all over the place. So I had to hit off of him though, so that was mm -hmm. that was the best part. Getting a hit off the guy is the best part. How about the new pitcher for uh, Wareham, uh, Daniel Polka? Oh yeah, Dan they, was he pitching? He actually he he did a he did a mop up. Oh wow, last yeah. week. He threw oh, one inning. Wonder how he looked, man. I haven't said he threw in the fall last year, but other than that, I didn't. He hadn't thrown in about a good four or five months, so I hope it looks good because that's just another lefty we have out of the pen. I'm not sure if it's gonna. Uh, I think it was 12-6 when he came in, and it was 15-6 when he left. But he okay. did strike out some, one of the, his last batters. So uh -oh. I mean, is that something you can uh, get on him a little bit? Next yeah, time I'll get I'll get him. on him a little bit. You know, you, you like to rag guys some a little bit, and then hopefully he gets good because we know. Uh, I mean, we are. The more left-handed pitching you have in college baseball, it's better for you. You know, you can see Florida had a – every guy they got brought out of the pin was 94 on the left side, and you see where they've got to, and they championship game in the College World Series. So left-handed pitching really helps out. How much fun is this uh, just, just oh, the overall whole, experience? Oh, yeah, the whole experience, man. It's like it's like going to minor league baseball games, you know. And, I mean, it's not the big stadiums, but, you know, you get the feel. You know, the, the fans are really into it. They really love the game. And it's like, it's like being in small cities and stuff like that. It's just – it's fun to play baseball. This is what baseball should be, you know, and nobody's really riding you hard. It's not like really a strict environment and stuff like that, but, you know, you just, just come out here, you play, you have fun, you go home at night, you eat, and you hang out with your host family. It's a pretty cool environment, pretty fun. You know, it's a nice place to play. Fair enough.